Welcome back to Monster Breakdown. This is a series we dissect monsters we fight in Monster Hunter World. Today we are going over Ryzen and Pink Ryzen. I've decided to include them in the same breakdown to save time in the ease of understanding them together. So let's get on with it. Ryathan, the queen of the land, the female counterpart of Rathlos, has been in Monster Hunter since the original, and has made her appearance in most of the games. She is the evil one that charges you while you're carrying her egg, and makes egg carrying missions a chore. Her name reflects her grounded attack style, but she does have poisonous barbs on her tail she likes smacking you in the face with. Use herbal medicine instead of antidotes. You will need antidotes and blue mushroom to create herbal medicine, but I suggest using them instead. They cure poison, a little bit of health, and take a hell of a lot less time to consume. Cut her tail. Riothan is a perfect example of Masana World's attention to detail. Cut her tail off and she no longer poisons you, and it shortens her range of her tail flip. If you're having problems doing so, try to wait for her to do a flip and then flash her out of the sky. Stay at her side. One of her most dangerous moves, the tail flip, is much easier to avoid if you're at her side. Once you're comfortable fighting against her, you can stay at the head and still not get hit by the tail, but I suggest staying at her side. Biggest reason why I suggest staying at the side is she's extremely vulnerable to tripping. I will be honest, after some practice this might help you. You will do more damage attacking the head, but less time she's charging and flipping the better. There has been times where I've tripped her three to four times in a single solo hunt. That might not sound like a big deal, but for a newer player, this can make all the difference. So before we jump into attacks, we're going to break down regular Ryzen first, then go over the differences with the pink Ryzen. So first up, we're talking about the bite. The close range attack that all of us are accustomed to, she does have a lunging version of this that can knock you down. Her charge is the move she likes to use a lot. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do to stop this, but you can use your iframes on your roll to keep from getting hit. Try not to roll towards her legs because they have a hitbox and they're kind of big. So try to roll out to the side. When she's enraged, she can do a chain charge that I've seen her charge as many times as four. But on average, it's about two to three. I'm also going to mention her aerial charge or swoop. She tends to use this only after her tail flip and if you've ran away while she jumps up for her flip. Now, to avoid this, simply run towards the left or right side of her body. Her fireball for me tends to be her go-to when I'm attacking her head from the side. Some will say your position means everything when the monster determines which move she does next. But in my opinion, it's a little too random to determine this. But Ryzen likes her fireball when I'm in this position and it's super easy to avoid. She tries to rear up and spits the fireball in front of her. To avoid this, you can stay on the move when not swinging your weapon, roll to the side if it lands or blocks. As for the second version, instead of spitting one, she spits three. One to the front left, one in front of her, and one to the front right. This one could be a little tricky to avoid, but my best advice to not get hit if you're caught off guard is to panic dive. If you stay in the position I mentioned a second ago, this move is easily avoided. Tailspin typically comes in two spins at a time, but rather than I've seen only do one. This can throw you off thinking you're safe under her belly when she stops and charges you. Be careful with this move because Ryther can use this tactic to stun you and possibly kill you. The tail flip is her signature move and probably the bane of many players. This move by far is her most damaging and intimidating, but it's easy to dodge if you're knowing when it's coming. 
It's first tell is to take two steps forward, but it's typically backwards. And then she flips. The hitbox for this move is basically online under hers, so never roll forward or backwards unless you have two to three points of evade window. Dodging this to the side is the most consistent way to dodge. If you're fighting her and you have the ability to flashbang, do so. Now let's jump into what changes with the pink Ryzen or pink variant. Now her bite has a second bite that becomes more of a lunge now. So I mean there's no real way to av easily avoid this than to practice with it. I suggest not to slow down your play against her, but do slow down your weapon swings just in case you have to block or dodge. The biggest change is her tail flip. Now this is where Ryzen gets a little tricky. She now can pivot her tail as she flips to hit all what stands underneath her. This makes it tough to dodge her because her animation stays the same until the second before the flip. Now you have two options to avoid this. Fight her face to face, attacking the nose or the side of her face, which can be a little dangerous for unexperienced hunters. So try this tactic once you have a few pink rides and kills under your belt. Second option is to try to see on the outside of her legs under her wings. Doing this gives you an extra second or two to react. From here you can roll away but timing needs to be right. So once she starts to jump, roll away. You can also roll towards her legs if you have some evade window on your armor or decorations. I've tried doing this without evade window and it can be done but your timing needs to be impeccable. Now I've mentioned evade window a few times in this breakdown and I don't feel like enough people are talking about evade window. So if you'd like to see one, click the link in the description. It will take you to my evasion setup for the insect leg. I'm also currently working on a couple more mix sets that benefit from evade window, but I'm not done testing them. As soon as I am, it will be out. Now with that out of the way, I've given you guys the ins and outs of the Ryzen and Miss Pinky. Now with some practice, you'll be taking out these wirens in no time flat. So be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my uploads. And I'll talk to you ladies and gents next time. Peace out.